So in the comments of my last video, someone suggested I make a video looking at what happens when Mrs. Crumplebottom gets bitten by a vampire. And if you read any guide or info about Mrs. Crumplebottom online, especially on the Sims wiki, it's always mentioned that you should never turn Mrs. Crumplebottom into a supernatural life state. And vampires are brought up specifically because the grand vampires who also hang out downtown can potentially bite her, although I've never seen this happen, so I think it must be a very rare event. So I personally had kind of Mrs. Crumplebottom as a witch. In The Sims 3 Supernatural you have the three Crumplebottom witches, and while their connection to Mrs. Crumplebottom is ambiguous, I feel like they're probably at least distantly related. And there's also something else. The Sims 2 website closed down in January 2013, but you can still find a bunch of the pages archived online, and I found this old chat transcript where Maxis were answering people's questions about the Nightlife expansion pack a few months before it was released. So someone asked what was in Mrs. Crumplebottom's purse, and Lindsay McGore responded, Magical mystical things. And crochet. So for me, that's kind of confirmation of her magic powers. Because of that, I'm going to pretend that her witch powers were taken from her somehow. Maybe by the evil High Witch. Maybe she hit her with a purse downtown and the High Witch cast her. And so now she has to journey through each of the occult life states to get her witch powers back. And since hybrids are a thing in The Sims 2, I decided I would try and get her to have all of the life states at the same time. So sort of the exact opposite of the advice online. There is a recommended order for super hybrids that you can find on the Sims wiki to have the best visual appearance, which is like plant sim, vampire, witch, zombie, and finally werewolf. But that order gets in the way of the story I created, so I'm just going to try and add them in the order I came up with. Super hybrids are a bit glitchy, even with normal sims, so I'm not sure how this is going to work out with Mrs. Crumplebottom, but I'm going to try it anyway. So after my last video, I moved the Crumplebottom Charlatan family into this house because I felt like the other one was a bit small and didn't really suit them. And I've decorated the garden to be kind of Halloween themed. So this is a lot I actually downloaded from Mod The Sims. And then I decorated the interior and added a few gargoyles up here. So that's Beatrice's bedroom and <laughs> Beatrice still doesn't have a surname, I just realised. I think I'm going to keep it like that for now though because she's the only Sim I've had in The Sims 2 that's never had a surname. Uh, so that's their bedroom, and then we've got the kitchen down here, and this living room area, and uh, actually in the basement, the basement was already mostly built, so I added a couple of things. I added some cobwebs and this <laughs> weird skeleton, um, who knows what was going on down here. I added this painting and a spider, and these were actually already down here I think, and over here there's a Ouija board. I thought about sending Mrs. Crumplebottom downtown so that she could be bitten by one of the vampires, but there's actually a resident vampire sim in Blightgate anyway. So coincidentally, the vampire sim in Blightgate is actually their neighbour and he lives over there and his name is Acheron Thorn. So I decided to throw a Halloween party, but Mrs. Crumplebottom doesn't actually know Acheron or most of the sims in the neighbourhood, so I invited a bunch of them over using this uh, box over here. I'm hoping it's not too many that it'll cause a lot of lag, because I'm remembering what happened at the wedding and that was a bit insane. So I'm going to have uh, Unsavory Crumplebottom throw a house party and then technically all the guests are already here that I'm going with, but he's just going to invite uh, Robbie round, I guess, since they're friends. So I guess I'll just quickly go into uh, the backstory. Acheron Thorn is a vampire and he's engaged to Evelyn Ainsworth. It's been a little while since I created the storyline for this, but I think the idea was that Evelyn's father didn't really approve of Acheron and he kind of had a weird feeling about him. And then if I look at his bio quickly, it just says Acheron hadn't intended to let things go so far with Evelyn, but her sunny disposition got under his skin. And before he knew it, he found himself proposing. Now he's torn between his duty not to engage with humans and his love for Evelyn. So it's not the most original storyline, but yeah. And Evelyn's part of this really large family, actually. So there's her brother, uh, Elliot, and Elliot is married to Lysander, and they have an adopted daughter, Madeline. And then there's also um, her father, Arthur, has a brother called Edwin, and they live together at this point in the storyline. And then Edwin has two daughters who are the cousins of Evelyn and Elliot, um, Hadley, and Emily has a pretty large family of her own. This family all have plant-based names uh, like Willow, Holly, Heather, Forest, and uh, his name's Lyndon, and then they're the Oakley family because 
that's tree based as well. There's a whole storyline with Hadley as well, but I shouldn't like get into everything. So Evelyn's bio just says, Evelyn enjoys daydreaming and watching clouds. She has an informal book club with close friends Celeste and neighbour Maori, where they discuss supernatural and sci-fi books they've read. And the book club actually exists, I sort of set that up in the neighbourhood. Oh god, there's a lot of loudness. Oh! Okay. <laughs> There's so many sims I can't keep track. Maybe I should have invited slightly less. Where are they off to? I don't know if it's in the storyline that they're supposed to get together or not because I can't really remember, but they do spend a lot of time hanging out. Yeah, they do have pretty good chemistry. Celeste enjoys reading and is a big fan of werewolves. She dreams of one day starting a family. Yeah, so I remember now. I think I was like trying to lean towards the possibility of her starting a relationship with uh, Enzi, but... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. The game was like no chemistry wise apparently. So Maori's name is actually um, like Mary Shelley the writer and he dreams of, he works as a lab assistant but his dream is to become a horror fiction writer. <laughs> so that's basically his deal. Where did Claire come from? Is Claire just gate crashing our party? You know, I swear they could sit on that sofa and still be able to see the TV, but that's not what they're gonna do, apparently. I don't know where Acheron's gone. I'm being distracted by all of the stuff going on. Mrs. Crumplebottom has to introduce herself. Oh, he's there. Okay. No, stop moving, Acheron! Let me pause it for a second. Oh, I wonder what one he just had that was fulfilled. Okay, I think they're finally talking. If I can't build the relationship, this isn't going to work. I don't want it to take too long because we've got a lot of occult stages to move through for this video. <laughs> Just having a pillow fight in the garden at someone else's house. Where did they get those pillows from? Did they bring them with them? I haven't cooked any food either, but they're just helping themselves to everything from the fridge. Has she at least met him yet? <laughs> Has even that worked? Let's try admiring him. Okay, I think that worked. There's a lot of interactions that just don't work with Mrs. Crumplebottom socially, so it's a little difficult. One toilet in this house probably isn't a great idea for this many sales. <laughs> Look at them all with the thought bubble, they can't go into the toilet. Has anyone gone downstairs? Technically it's not locked. I don't have a conventional staircase. The design of this part of the house was a little weird. I actually don't know if there was maybe some custom content that I didn't download and was supposed to because the stairs didn't exactly... They didn't look right. They were sort of sticking out of this wall and in a weird position and so I just ended up putting like an invisible staircase so they sort of teleport down there which isn't very realistic but... Can we have them hang out? That usually keeps people preoccupied for a while. That's the best way to- there we go. <laughs> no! This is Crumplebottom. She doesn't like hanging out. That works with most sims, but she's really determined to move around. We're gonna have to keep admiring. It's her favourite thing to do. <laughs> it's one of the few interactions that works. Who invited Callist around? Arissa Graham? I don't even- it must be someone he knows. They don't even get along! They're- they're enemies! <laughs> oh, somebody took one of the bears. I should lock the kids room. They always move the bears all over the place. Alish, oh, there's sims all around you. You can- you can talk to one of them. There's no need to talk to the graduation ball. In spite of everything, Mrs. Crumplebottom actually throws decent parties. Oh no! <laughs> Who? What? What is happening? Who is that? Oh, what? Callus! <laughs> I think maybe they had a falling out in a previous video. Um, the one with the bunnies. I feel like I remember that. Okay, well, uh, that's the end of the party. It wasn't quite a roof raiser, but um, we're gonna have to invite Akron back round later, I think, because everyone's leaving. Oh wait, we can't use phones. She can't use phones right, can she? That's a good point that I did not consider. 
Oh right, she's lecturing him. No baths for you. Because of the limits of the animations and interactions between Mrs. Crumplebottom and other sims, I'm not sure if they'll actually be able to, uh, if any of the vampires will be able to turn her into a vampire. But um, I can just use the inseminator if it doesn't work. <laughs> just admiring him till they're friends. Yeah. Looks like she likes him more than he likes her. Is he attracted to Mrs. Crumplebottom? It's either that or violins. So it's 12am. We're still continuing the process of befriending Acheron. And um, Amy Jones is very confused and coming around at 12am. <laughs> I just changed the time with um, the inseminator and I think she was already on her way over. There's been some confusion and uh, now we're delivering this at 12am. Wait, what? Chester, how dare you? I think they must have uh, just become friends, yeah. I used the cheat to rotate it. I thought it looked better in the corner like that, but apparently you can't use it when you do that, so... He's gonna go play the, the violin now that he was uh, attracted to. No, I'm pretty sure he was attracted to Mrs. Crumplebottom. She's still sleeping. That hasn't woken her up, which is convenient. Sounds like she's clapping, but she's not actually clapping. She's just bobbing. Yeah, he definitely finds her attractive. It's interesting taste. He's not leaving, is he? How many times are we going to have to invite him around? It looks like he might be. Oh. Okay, he just decided to come out here and, and stand next to the candle. And do that. <laughs> so I just realised that um, he can't be directed to bite her because uh, the pie menu for Mrs. Crumplebottom is limited to like all of this stuff basically. I think there's an option uh, to influence vampires apparently to bite your sim, but it's not always successful. Okay, so they're now best friends. But I still don't see an option to influence them to bite. <laughs> Acheron doesn't appreciate sims who knock over bins. I'm really always pick up the rubbish and then realise no, the bin's been knocked over. He seems far more interested in raking leaves than biting Mrs. Crumplebottom. Okay, so I've added a grand vampire to the lot and I'm just gonna see if, um, I don't see the option still. Oh, what's happening here? It looked like he was gonna try and interact with her in some way, but... Bite neck. Well, it looked like he was trying, but um, he just thought he wouldn't disturb her while she's knitting. He's really trying to bite her neck, but she's determinedly knitting and uh, won't be distracted. I guess vampires really like playing violins in this game. <laughs> Beatrice has just woken up like, who is this strange vampire in my room playing the violin? See, the option keeps coming up, but it keeps getting dropped. I don't know if maybe they patch this in a later game. And you know, perhaps it's because it's not on a community law, but I feel like that can't be it. I think it's because she's moving. How do I get her to stop wandering? <laughs> okay, it would probably help if the ground wasn't, like, hilly like this. <laughs> Why isn't it working? Did she just walk through that pumpkin? I think she did. I wanted to do it the uh, in-game way, but it doesn't look like that's going to work. So, mortality stay... Be a vampire. I 
don't know if that did anything. Now I'm starting to think I'm going to have to edit it in the game files. I didn't realise this would be so difficult. Also, that giant pumpkin doesn't seem to have any collision on it whatsoever. Like, anyone can just walk through it. Okay, vampire, make me. No! It's not working. Yeah, vampire occults, they didn't work on Father Time either. So either at some point they made it impossible for these NPCs to get bitten, like all of them, or I have a mod that kind of prevents that. So I looked up a tutorial on how to change sims in SimPE to a different life state in case there's more to it than just ticking the box. I found a guide on what the sims that mentioned changing this flag here. So according to the guide, the vampire one should be 0C. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> so I'm pretty sure she's a vampire now. Let's have a look. So I wonder if Mrs. Crumplebottom can, uh, can bite Sims then. Look at the thumbnail. Like, her thumbnail has like a weird sort of black, uh, shadow on it for some reason. <laughs> Gonna see what this looks like if Mrs. Crumplebottom tries to bite another Sim. <laughs> okay. Very limited animations there. Um, what happens if she flies? So her bat form works. So yeah, that's pretty pretty normal really. So for the next part of this video, Mrs. Crumplebottom is going to be visiting her distant relatives, the goth family. So there was something else I wanted to do while I was on this lot, because I read on the Sims 2 wiki that Agnes Crumplebottom has a corrupted face as a ghost, but personally I've never noticed anything weird about her face. The thing is though, this is a clean subhood template of Pleasant View, so any corruption with her face might be actually fixed in this version. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do the next part of this video with Mrs. Crumplebottom to see what she looks like as a ghost and everything. And then after I've done that, I'm just going to quickly go to a different neighbourhood to see what uh, Agnes looks like. So I want to try and avoid adding her to this household if I can, because she's just visiting. What I think I'm going to do is, is actually try and get her to die by sunlight, because that seems to sort of fit the storyline, since <laughs> she's currently a vampire. So it's 6am, and we're going to see if she can die by sunlight. I don't know whether or not she'll be able to get the goth family down to come, <laughs> come say hello. Oh, can they not go downstairs for some reason? Did I lock that door? Oh no, I think it's just because Cassandra was heading downstairs. He could at least start walking, right? You'd think? <laughs> okay, so it looks like she's starting to steam from the sunlight. I remember this happening a lot faster usually. It's just so tired, she put her bag through her head. Ooh. What is it she's climbing up though? Like, Alexander is, um... What just happened? Why did her aspiration meter suddenly fill up? None of her wants were just fulfilled, I swear. Okay. Wait, is she dying now? No. The sun, I must flee. No, you, d you mustn't flee, <laughs> though. That's the, that's the whole point. I just want a comparison to see what the actual death thing looks like. What's this? Mrs. Crumplebottom is cured of vampirism. That's interesting for a vampire to want. <laughs> he doesn't want the competition. Wait. Oh, I think Mrs. Crumplebottom finally died. What was that about, though? What was all those weird animations of her, like, crawling out of the ground? I'm very confused right now, and her handbag is floating. Cassandra, why are you interrupting us with your chance cards? I didn't even notice her go to work, actually. Oh, dear. Just see him go over there. Fine. 
for the for a minute. Oh. Okay, that animation does not look like what she was doing. What was she doing? She was like clawing. I don't know. Maybe it was the. Uh... I'm trying to think what death animation it was that she was even doing because it doesn't look like the death by sunlight animation, and it took forever too. Like very weird. What I think I'm going to do actually is just reload the lock because I do want to save later and I don't really want the count to be uh, dead. So I just wanted to see what the death animation would look like for a, a regular vampire. I don't know why it didn't occur to me before but I just went back to watch it and you know what the animation is? It's her crawling out of the well. It was like she kept doing the uh, well crawling animation over and over again before she died. I'm gonna kill her by sunlight again and then see if I can get her ghost onto the lot after that. Her uh, plum bob above her head is platinum at the moment, even though it's not showing here. I don't know if there's some kind of weird delay with her or something. Because I've noticed like certain thi- Yeah, like it's- what is that about? Everyone's gonna come back down <laughs> for, for take two of Mrs. Crumplebottom's death. And oh my god, look at that face! <laughs> she looks like a, a creepy pasta creature. I don't know. I think it's like her intense. Uh, oh, that was a weird sound effect. I didn't notice it before. She died a lot quicker that time and there was no weird well animations. I don't know what was happening with that last time. Look at her face. <laughs> it's terrifying. I love how the purse is still there. You just cannot get rid of it. It's just forever. Well, I mean, it disappears at the end, but like, even when she's Ash, she protected that purse to the very end. Now it's been buried with her in this grave. Mrs. Crumplebottom's ghost. She didn't stay out for very long, did she? I kind of want to add her and oh, right, she's come back out again. It's not a happy family, Sim. So purse disappeared. That's why she's not happy. <laughs> See, I actually have a memory of seeing Mrs. Crumplebottom's ghost now. Oh god, she she has that thumbnail too. She has the creepy. <laughs> oh my god, because that was the one she died with. That is her thumbnail now. She did have a purse for a second there, but it looks like it's gone. Which is, um, oh, she's thinking of Beatrice. Yeah, she's not holding it, is she? She can't do any of her knitting or anything else. All of her magic powers are stored in that purse. It's no wonder she's so angry. Her animations are still a bit like when she's alive, other than the floating. Like, they're still a bit rigid. She's acting like, you know, she's still holding her purse, even though the purse is not there. That is Agnes, right? I swear there's nothing weird about her face. I'm looking at it now, just to see. Maybe I should resurrect her as well to sort of compare, but I'm gonna um, try and make her selectable now. She has no memory of her death. I think it was Simon Crumplebottom that set fire to this lot uh, at one point. Although his ghost isn't red, so maybe it wasn't him. It decimated the entire garden. Every sim died except for Don Lafario who was visiting. And he was the only sim I wanted to die <laughs> in that particular. I was recording something, I think. It was insane. I took a screenshot of it with the in-game screenshot thing. And then at some point after that, that stopped working. I talked about this in another video though. But the inability to take screenshots also affects still life paintings because it uses that feature, which led to this hilariously iconic but ultimately disturbing moment that really could only happen to me, where Darren Dreamer was supposed to be painting a painting of his son sitting on a sofa, but instead, 
began painting this image of Gung the Goth creepily grinning as he just set fire to a bunch of stuff on the goth lot. And I took that screenshot while recording the Invisible Token video on my channel in a completely different version of Pleasant View, but I think it was the last screenshot I took that worked, so it used that photo in place of the snapshot of Dirk sitting on a sofa that I wanted. It's Gun for Goth, right. Gun for Goth is the one that set fire to everything last time. Wait, what? <laughs> what I thought was gonna happen happened, yeah. This is what happened last time in my game. And Gun for Goth just kind of drifted past. Like, I'm just reenacting it now. Maybe get away from the fire, though. Why does it say she's returning to her place? I didn't even make her selectable. Oh god. Get away from the fire! Okay, they're gonna have to put it out. Yeah, what happened before was that he just kind of drifted past and he had this creepy smile on his face, so I took a screenshot of it. He's not smiling right now. She has the same uh, lifetime one as uh, Mrs. Crumplebottom. That's why Mrs. Crumplebottom's so angry at her. Have to fulfill my legacy. Why is he all the way over there? Oh god, it's really lagging. I don't think he's supposed to be standing that far away. I mean, I know there's no room with that chair, but... What's happening to his face? Why is his temperature so high? Okay, go in then. Look, it's winter! And he's boiling. I mean, he was right next to a fire just now, but I have not seen that happen before. Okay, so I'm going to resurrect uh, Mrs. Crumplebottom as a zombie now. <laughs> Apparently she doesn't know Mrs. Crumplebottom and can't resurrect her. She has a memory of her death and I'm... Oh, her thumbnail's changed. The other one was so much better and scarier. No. She doesn't pop up here. <laughs> you got the other Crumplebottoms though, but not Mrs. Crumplebottom. The thing about this is, I think if you resurrect her using this, then she just comes back uh, normally. And she's also added to the household, I think. As if she's died on another lot. Wait, what? What's that about? No. Why is she... <laughs> Why is she merging with other sims? It's not... Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, the thing is though, we need, we need to resurrect her. I thought that would work. It's not, for some reason. Wait. No. Where did her gravestone go? I don't think that's, a, that's good. I might have to quit and come back in again. Oh my god, she's not here anymore. She's been deleted from the game. Oh no, she's she really isn't here. She's gone, <laughs> literally just gone. Is she anywhere? Is she in the default bin? Wait, there she is. I think she might be back. And she's still a vampire, which is what I wanted for the super hybrid. By now, I think it would have said if she was, if it was going to do the, she died on another lot thing. Oh god, all her relationships have been scrapped. She went back to the game files in a, in a sense, and now she's come back again. It's removed all of her relationships. I don't think she's technically married to uh, Unsavory Charlotte anymore. No. Maybe I'll just exit out and skip straight to the zombie part this time. Mortality state, zombieism, be a zombie. So yeah, once again, it doesn't have any noticeable effect on her uh, skin tone at all. Did this remove any of her skills? It didn't. It doesn't uh, change any of the personality or skill traits, I don't think, when you do it with the inseminator. <laughs> yeah, because she's still doing the stalk animation as she kind of does the zombie walk. 
I guess I'll go to see what Agnes's ghost looks like um, in another version of the neighborhood because it says her face is corrupted and I don't know what they mean by that. It says, while Agnes does not have a deformed facial structure when resurrected, she does as a ghost. So maybe I'll just resurrect her and see how it compares. Like maybe it's just that it looks different, but um, there's nothing like obviously weird about it. Maybe her hair is a little odd. There's some weird shading there, but that's about it. In what way is her face deformed? There is something weird sort of going on with his moustache. It's uh, there's some weird shading on it, I think. It does look like he has a giant hole, right? It, it's either a weird shadow or there's a hole there. Something weird's going on with his moustache. I'm gonna try and resurrect Agnes. I don't know why it's saying that. She died on this lot. She didn't die on another lot. What? Agnes has been resurrected on another lot? What do you mean she's been resurrected on another lot? This is so weird. Like, what lot could she possibly be on? There we go. Her face seems more or less the same, I think. The only thing I can think of that was odd looking, I suppose, as a ghost was that she had like a weird sort of shadow underneath the brim of her hat. So I thought after I finished recording this that maybe part of the reason Mrs. Crumplebottom's ghost just acted completely normally like a ghost was because I didn't have any sims doing anything that would trigger her behaviour. So I'm going to try that now, but I also want to try and see what Mrs. Crumplebottom's teen form looks like as a ghost. Because I completely forgot, but her like animations as a teenager are really weird. And I reset her so that she's not a vampire anymore so that I can do this. And I removed all her other occult life states. I'm going to add them back in later. Her aspiration has gone way down, I just noticed. Let's see if she's still got those weird animations. Yep. <laughs> Let me just see if I can, like, make her hunger motive zero and see if she dies that way. Die by sunlight. She's trying to climb out of the well again. The only way to kill Mrs. Crumplebottom is to use the sunlight. I swear I successfully, when I was testing it, got her to die by fire though as an adult, but it wasn't working on this slot for some reason. It's possible that I misremembered what I clicked, but I'm sure it was fire. I think it just takes a really long time sometimes, like, you know, it was buggy before. Something's happening, right? Because she's doing the well animation, which seems to be a sign. Stuck through the fence. I'm bringing out the big guns now. <laughs> what, is, what is happening? <laughs> oh my god. I think she's doing the fire animation, right? Oh, now she's panicking. Oh my god. What was that? Oh, it's the lightning. Oh, okay. The ghosts normally react to fire. Her crocheting is just like floating. Oh my god, even the tree is on fire now. <laughs> you were joking. Okay. She's completely invulnerable to this fire. I don't seem to be able to make her- wait, she's on fire! She's on fire! She's actually on fire now! She's immortal, man! I just need to see a ghost for like two minutes, man. You can come back alive later. <laughs> Oh god. Vampirism is her only weakness, I guess. And she still hasn't died of hunger, so I don't think that's gonna happen either. <laughs> well, you know, the, the fire does come up out of the well. 
It's weird, like, if I try and move her with the move objects cheat, then she's so far away. I think that's why her movements and stuff are so messed up. There's still a fire up there. <laughs> in the tree. I'm just trying to put off using SimPE because <laughs> I'll have to reload the game to do it. Comfort sets fire to everything, even he can't solve this problem. So I'm 99% sure this isn't the problem, but I just want to make sure that it's not because she's not part of the household. Oh my god, she wasn't part of the household before, I swear I didn't add her. You're telling me- can all believe this? All of this time, and I could have just added her to the household. Maybe it's just because she's finally died of hunger and it's a coincidence, but I don't think so. <laughs> the bag is not impressed. Grim Reaper has never seen anything so insane, and he's seen a lot. None of them, <laughs> none of them seem to like Mrs. Grumble by and large. Well, now that that's done, oh my god. <laughs> I can now experiment with what I actually wanted to experiment with. Oh no, she's reverted back to her... her age. Maybe she is still technically a teen. It's hard to tell because she's got her Grumble Bottom face and everything. Possibly. I don't know. I can still test the other thing I wanted to test. Um, no. <laughs> That's her response now instead of lecturing people. If we actually put her in the room, will she start lecturing? Oh my god, she's lost the ability to lecture. She didn't react to Cassandra. Let's try something else. Lecture, lecture. It's got a little asterisk now next to it, and I think the ghost thing seems to override her behaviour. She's still doing it technically, but it's... Oh my god. <laughs> She's sending a message to Cassandra! Oh, I cancelled the haunt interaction and it actually worked! That never works on normal sims. It's amazing! So are you telling me I have a playable ghost now? A playable ghost in The Sims 2. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. Well, I think you can get that anyway. Technically, using the Inseminator, you can add all the ghost flags. I don't know that it usually works very well. I've never managed to get it to work successfully. At least not with- like, you can make them walk like they're floating. You can pass through walls, Sims... What, what is that one? Ignore tra traversal costs. I'm not sure what that does. This is so cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm a bit disappointed that the teen animation thing didn't work out, but now Mrs. Crumplebottom is a playable goat. I thought last time I tried to cancel the haunt interaction and it didn't work. Maybe because the lecture thing was the next in line, it worked. Maybe it only sometimes works when you cancel it, I don't know. But I'm sure I cancelled it before, and she just did the same thing that ghosts normally do, where they disappear. Like, I'll get out on one of the other ghosts. We'll get out Agnes with the disappointingly not corrupted face. If you cancel the fawn interaction, she just disappears. So that's what normally happens with normal ghosts, but Mrs. Crumplebottom isn't doing that. Oh my god, we get the point now, okay. You know what I've realised? She has no power now, does she? Like, her lecturing isn't magically making Cassandra change her clothes. I have no power here. <laughs> She's just endlessly lecturing. It's a shame you can't choose to sort of possess stuff though, because all of the haunt interaction stuff is just kind of like randomised and uh, autonomous and you can't sort of select that yourself. I'm wondering if there's some way to sort of put Ghost to sleep. Like if I make her un... Oh wait, what? Mrs. Crumplebottom has died on another lot. That took a really long time! Let me just try that again. If we get rid of the haunt interaction... I think what will happen... Okay, so 
it seems kind of unpredictable. Like sometimes she'll go back uh, to death sooner than other times. I think because she was trying to lecture Cassandra, that gave her a bit of life. So <laughs> she she hung around a bit longer that time. Okay, so I'm now going to make her into a werewolf and a plant sim for the next part of the super hybrid and I think I'm going to go over to Vladimir's house. Hopefully it's not too laggy um, because it has been lagging a bit. Because obviously Vladimira is an expert on making hybrids like werewolves and uh, plant sims. She's done it before so she can do it with Mrs. Crumplebottom. She actually wants to be a vampire so <laughs> well that can be arranged Vladimira because we are going to bring Mrs. Crumplebottom over. Can she read the mystery book? <laughs> Mysteriously mysterious mystery doll. And then there's Bob Turner, the cat. The normal cat that she adopted at some point. I think Bob is a normal cat. One of the rare ones in this game. Oh, that's appropriate because we're going to be making werewolves um, soon. I don't know if he was here before. Let's see if she can interact with him. It looks like she's burning. I think her motives have turned back to static again. We don't really want Gilbert to leave because we actually want him to turn us into a werewolf and I don't know if he can turn Mrs. Crumplebottom into a werewolf. I feel like we should move them both downstairs into the uh, laboratory. Pizza. And a potato. Somehow Mrs. Crumplebottom is still burning, even though... Oh wait, to be fair, there is a window there, I just noticed. I think he's trying to leave now. She can't interact with him anymore. Why is she trying to drink? Free Will isn't turned on, but she's automatically trying to drink. Just like Father Time, when he kept going to the sink to get water and other random stuff that he was scripted to do. She does drink from bars, right, on community lots, but that's not a regular bar, it's a nectar bar. I think it's over here. Oh, the loading times. This lot is so laggy. I'm having a fight over here. Oh, okay. So she can use that then. Well, I need the leader of the pack to come by, and then I don't know. Will that work? I'm gonna have like a bunch of them now. I don't know. I don't know what that does. Okay, there's some kind of crazy fight going on here. Um, I think... Oh dear. Is that Bob? Barlin, Gilbert. Too many pack leaders. Barlin again. Oh no. <laughs> Got all the wolves in the Sims world here. It's in a Greek Gilbert. Oh no. Where did Gilbert go? He's not back up here again, is he? Oh, he is. I'm gonna move Mrs. Crumplebottom up here. It's just, it takes too long to use the bookcase and everything. I don't know if she's greeting Gilbert or not. Wait. There we go. God, there's so many, so many wolves on this lot. I think it's probably going to take a while for them to build their relationship up, so I might have to use cheese. Oh no. <laughs> she barely reacted to that. Oh dear. Gilbert's been distracted by all the uh, dog toys. I don't know if that's enough. Maybe their long-term relationship needs to be like high as well. What is happening with Annie? She's glitching a lot. He's trying to leave again. Okay. We'll have to bring him back a third time and then maybe it'll work. He's just lying on the bed. But uh, it was kind of weird because <laughs> he's just floating above it. The loading times on this lot are insane. I don't know if it's like my PC. There are, there are a lot of plants on this lot so that might be related. 
Oh, stop trying to get a drink, Mrs. Crumblebone. Bother starving? Oh dear. Wait, what? Oh, did he just nibble her? I didn't notice. Didn't even figure out what was happening there. Because, uh, <laughs> she still wants a drink. Really determined. She's got the werewolf texture on her body, but not on her face. <laughs> I didn't even notice the sim nibbled her, like, there was no animation. I think the back of her head is also werewolf texture. So you can kind of see it along the hairline. She's now a zombie werewolf vampire. Since the garden club isn't in this neighbourhood, I'm going to give her the uh, plant sim status too, using this. <laughs> okay, there we go. Again, it like affects the same kind of parts, although it's also removed her hat this time. She's got the plant sim hair, um, and it affects like the back of her head and her hands and stuff. Her face isn't affected, she's still got her crumple bottom face. Let's transform her to a sim. That's weird. Her plant sim skin showed up, but only when she was in werewolf form. Okay, so now she has the werewolf fur again. She's not showing her plant sim stuff. And if I cure that, and then set it again. Okay, this is just kind of random. <laughs> Like, last time she had the plant sim skin showing, but now the, the wolf skin is showing. But she's got the hair, um, so that's shown up. So, I think she has all of the occult states now to become a witch. I did want to see what she'd look like potentially as an alien and a servo. <laughs> look at this, like, she's got the zombie animations, but she's also got, like, the plant hair. That's a really great thumbnail down there. So I've attempted to change Mrs. Crumplebottom's skin and eye colour to the alien eyes and skin. I only changed it in the sim DNA section of her neighbourhood file. If I want to open up her character file, I actually have to go to the objects package file. So I've tried this and I'm hoping it works. It looks like her entire appearance has sort of been reset since I've um, reloaded the game. She's still a plant sim and she's still got all of her traits but... Um, I was following a guide. It said to change the skin tone you should edit some things in sim DNA, but the process for changing the eyes was a bit more complicated, but it doesn't look like the skin tone has worked anyway. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Uh, transform to sim. No, I think that's just the plant sim texture. If I cure her of, like, her plant sim status... I don't know. I think the alien uh, skin texture still isn't working. I thought it would be interesting to see what she'd look like as a alien, but I don't really know how to do that. Um, I think I'd have to edit something in the package file. So I was just about to change Mrs. Crumplebottom into a servo, and I was looking through the sim browser, and um, I just noticed there's a sim here called Timothy Futa. Uh, so this is just a completely different sim that looks a lot like Nod Futa. Is also a delivery guy and shares the same surname as him. So I had to remove her other life states to do this. It doesn't look like it's worked. I did read there was a way to potentially change sims into servos uh, by opening their character file, but again I don't really know. I think that would require more fiddling in sim PE. When I clicked commit and save, something very weird happened, where the names of all the objects just got replaced with like random characters and uh, strings of text that seemed to be from different localizations of the game. And uh, then there were just like a bunch of errors, and I tried it a few different times and the same thing happened every time. I really didn't want me to edit Mrs. Crumplebottom to make her into a servo. I don't know if that would have worked anyway, because I didn't really look at the process with a normal sim. So uh, I'm gonna have to skip the Mrs. Crumplebottom robot phase, I guess. 
So now that Mrs. Crumplebottom is as much of a super hybrid as I can make her, it's time for her to get her powers back and become a witch. So since Mrs. Crumplebottom doesn't have her magical powers, she can't go to the magic subhood. So I've come back to the Sylvan house here, since they're witches, and I'm going to see if Hazel can bring Mrs. Crumplebottom with her to the magic secret subhood. Mrs. Crumplebottom's just there burning now. We need to get her inside. Okay, so Mrs. Crumplebottom is now appearing here because I've added her to the household, and uh, I, I guess everyone might as well go. And we're going to go to the Fortress of Eternal Darkness. Um, I did debate on whether to have Hazel give her magical powers so that Mrs. Crumplebottom could be a neutral witch, because I sort of feel like she might be a neutral witch, but it also kind of makes sense for her to be an evil witch. I could see it going either way. She was cursed by the evil witch to have her powers taken away. I want the evil witch to kind of give her her powers back. So we're going to go to the Fortress of Eternal Darkness now. <laughs> She's already looking pretty green. I'm wondering if um, she'll get the green face if she becomes an evil witch. I have a feeling the slot's gonna lag a lot. I don't know. I've noticed a lot of the lots in Blightgate are um, laggy at the moment. It's raining. I mean, that's good. The cloud cover will uh, prevent Mrs. Crumplebottom from burning to death. Is she gonna wander off the map? <laughs> Look how close to the edge she's standing. She's like angrily knitting at the edge of this giant cliff. <laughs> Slowly burning. She doesn't seem to want to talk to her. <laughs> How are they going to be introduced, though? Um, what if she tries bragging? Okay, well... <laughs> It didn't go well, and I don't actually know if she can become a witch in this neighbourhood. It might be that she has to become one in the main neighbourhood. Okay, I'm gonna try and use the sim modder. That should work right. Okay, so now they're friends, there's still no option. So I think we have to go back to the actual main world. Gosh, her hygiene is really low. They both need the toilet. Wait, what? Mrs. Crumplebottom, where are you going? Ah, you can't run away. Is she attracted to Mrs. Crumplebottom too? Everyone is attracted to Mrs. Crumplebottom. <laughs> Apparently. What's that? Turn Maori into werewolf? That seems like something Vladimir would want to do. What's that one? This is very interesting and conflicting. She wants Enzi to be cured, but she wants Maori to be turned into a werewolf. Like, what? Yeah, I wonder if she rolled that one because um, her turn on some werewolves, right? So that's pretty cool, actually. Because, um... They have crush flags now, so she probably wants to turn him into a werewolf. It's funny though because it's like interacting with um, the general trend of like most sims who aren't knowledge sims wanting to cure sims of like occult status, they often roll those once. So she has this one from like whenever, but she's now got this one at the same time. She's very selective about which sims she thinks should be werewolves. Okay, so you can actually just circumvent the um, bookcase by being able to teleport. <laughs> well, I thought the evil witch has a teddy bear in her bedroom. Oh. Be lectured, right. This is Crumplebum! She's lecturing her from all the way down here. Just wait till Mrs. Crumplebottom is distracted with something. Let's sit Mrs. Crumplebottom down. <laughs> That's not much of a distraction. Mrs. Crumplebottom could play chess, that might distract her. I can't invite her to play, that sucks. 
Looks like it's working. I think this is something to do with like Mrs. Crumplebone. Maybe she can't transform on this lot or something. Because it's 8 pm, it's trying to make her transform, but I don't think it wants to do that. Okay, so before she dies from a lack of sunlight, I think I'm going to send them all back home. Oh no. Poor Mrs. Crumplebone. She's gonna get plenty of sunlight now, uh, while burning. <laughs> oh no, wait. I forgot. I think I've got the community time thing in again. So now I need to get Heather to come round. When she's in her werewolf skin now as well, because it's uh, night time. Oh, she can turn her into a werewolf and she can turn her into a vampire. Oh, she missed work because I, I forgot to remove community time again. I don't see an option to ask her to uh, teach her to be a witch. She's not leaving, is she? No! <laughs> I just invited you round for a reason, Heather. Oh god. Her job starts from 7 till 2 and... Okay, so hopefully nobody else will be getting fired today. Is the option there yet? I don't know if they have to be best friends. <laughs> Go answer the phone! Is the phone broken? I might have to rebuy that phone. I think Mrs. Crumplebottom broke it. Oh, okay. So they've got best friend status now. Don't see an option. Normally there's an option like teach me the way of darkness or something like that. I think I'm just going to have to use the inseminator again. Uh, maybe it would work if it was on a community lot. If this was a home business, it would work as well because I know it worked for Garfield. Teach me the path of darkness. Garfield looks busy right now. Maybe I should do this later. Why is Garfield busy? What is he doing? I could see Mrs. Crumplebottom as an atrociously evil witch, but on the other hand, there's also a kind of neutrality about her, so I don't know which one to go with. I feel like Mrs. Crumplebottom might be a mean witch. Okay, that's interesting. Why is her hair- her hair's like brown now. Dead leaves. Is that like what happens with evil- <laughs> evil witch plant sims? She didn't get any of the magical stuff in her inventory either because she didn't learn uh, magic the traditional way. So Mrs. Crumplebottom has got her witchy powers back now. Not the way I wanted it to work, but Heather's technically on the lot, so it's close enough. So now I'm gonna have her move back in with Unsavory Charlatan and we're gonna throw one last Halloween party, I think. Mrs. Crumplebottom seems to have lost her uh, witch outfit. She's got this uh, good witch outfit, but her evil witch outfit isn't there for some reason. Okay, well it's not gonna be exactly the same now because uh, <laughs> she's not wearing her witch outfit anymore, unfortunately. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.